Morning, everybody. It is Thursday, April 21st. Uh, as people keep noting, they wouldn't know what day it is if it wasn't for my video, since I give a shout out every day to what day it is. Uh, it's necessary for me, too, because, boy, it sure is easy to lose track where you're sitting there going, oh, God, I better take the trash cans out. You know, trash is Friday, and you're suddenly thinking, God, it's Monday. What am I talking about? <clears throat> I uh, wanted to say thank you so much to everybody for such a great clubhouse yesterday. It just gets, uh, the, the directions that the conversations go to me are so great, talking about everything from candy to cookies to uh, 50s and TV shows, um, Helms Bakery, <laughs> all that stuff. It's, it's, I mean, we actually got a little base discussion in there, you know, talking about, got a few little descriptions of string height and the like, but for the most part, it was, it, it's just delightful. I mean, it's one of those things I really don't want it to end. You know, at some point, I've got to get up, let the pups out, feed the boys and all that. But I, I so thoroughly just enjoy it. Um, got some things to take care of this morning, and then I'm off to my friend John Gillitan's house to put bass on a couple of tracks uh, for a project that he's been working on for somebody else. And uh, then I'll get back tonight and work on Lyle songs. And then another friend of mine, uh, Don Perry, who was the, um, who's a great drummer. Um, uh, he's contacted me about doing something for him. So I'm going to try to get on that tonight and work on that. And just so lots of little things piling up here. But um, today, musically, I just I wanted something to kick some ass. Just to, you know, I've been doing lots of ballads and stuff like that. So I wanted to go back. I posted a little story about this guy back. It was, and I checked, it was video number 285. And his name is Tony Gala. Now, I got called to do his album. I'd never heard of him before. And um, when I got there, he's, he's a great guy, great guitar player, great singer, really strong writer. And then I started investigating him, and that video shows kind of what he was about. And uh, there's these videos, or he's like, just like a great, like Sinatra kind of big band, uh, great American songbook stuff. Um, he also does Italian light opera. But when I heard what he, we were doing, I just went, holy crap, this guy has got one wide berth that he draws from. And uh, we just had a ball. The, the weirdest part of the whole thing for me was um, I showed up to the session, and it was a long ways from my house. It was like um, on the way to San Bernardino from Pasadena. I mean, it was like way out in, God, I forget what the hell town it was. But um, I think it was, that was probably the first time I ever worked with Stevie D, the great drummer Stevie D, Stevie DeStanislaus, who um, played with David Crosby, uh, he was the drummer on the CPR albums. Um, he, he's worked with, with, with uh, just an absolute ton of people, and he's just a fabulous drummer. And I think that was our first experience together doing that. But I showed up, and I've got my gig bag with me, and I opened it up, and it was I didn't bring the bass I thought I brought. Um, I had a, uh, a P bass that was one of the um, Fender Road Worn Bases, there are you know new bases made out in uh, in Mexico that are great bases um, that are aged to look like vintage instruments, but they're new. And I hadn't I had gotten it. I really hadn't used it very much. All of a sudden, I'm sitting there going, "Oh crap!" I was thinking I was bringing Frankenstein with me, and I ended up with this bass. And I didn't say anything to anybody because there was no way for me to go home and change. So I just I used it, and I ended up loving it. And I've actually I still have it, but it's at Waddy Wachtel's house at his studio, because Waddy does a lot of home demo work, and um, and he really needed a, a better bass for the work he was doing at home, and I so I loaned it to him. That's probably been about six years now, at least, that he's had it over at his house, uh, which is fine with me. I, I really didn't need it, and uh, and it's really helping him out. So it's pretty it's pretty cool. And it's always there if I really need it. So that's good. But I was going to, I realized I had just done this one song uh, from the Tony Gallen, Gala album that we did. And the album was called Travelin' On. And um, 
So I thought I'd play a few more songs from it because it's just so damn good. I really loved it. And this is one of these people that not many people know about. Now, I'm really looking forward to, to this because this coming Sunday, um, a bunch of us are doing a gig at McCabe's here in, in Los Angeles Club. Um, and it's going to be fun. And one of the people um, doing it is Jimmy Vivino, um, who was like the musical director on Conan O'Brien's show, great guitar player, singer. And, uh, and I just was looking at some recent videos of Tony Gala and, he's, and Jimmy Vivino's doing the gigs with him. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check with um, Jimmy on Sunday and see how Tony's doing and, and what they're up to. But it's going to be fun on Sunday. I think Jeff Young is going to be there, who plays keyboards with Jackson Brown and Vivino. Um, some, uh, some of the guys, Russ is doing the gig. Um, there's a whole bunch of people, Dan Navarro. So it's going to be a fun evening of music. And uh, so it'll be fun to see Jimmy and, and see what that's about. But here, I just wanted to play a few more of these songs because I really love this album. We did the whole thing in one day. All these tracks we cut um, in this one day. And uh, all, it was really you know, charting or anything. It was just like sketched out a couple of things and then we just went for it. But dig this guy's playing and his singing. He is, man, I would give anything to have a voice like Tony Gala. And, uh, and when you hear him singing like the Sinatra and all and that stuff, man, he, he is so good at it and his light opera work. And back when I was a kid, there was a show called the Ted Mack Amateur Hour, which kind of, in a way, is like, um, you know, America's Got Talent and all that kind of stuff. Um, but one of the acts that was on, and this was back in the 50s, was Tony's family. Tony, I think, was 12 years old. And he was the lead singer. And then his, his mom and I think a brother and a sister, I, I'd have to see it again, but they're on the Ted Mack Amateur. So if you pull up Tony Gala in the um, YouTube, uh, you, you can find that. And it's a trip. And he's, he's singing his ass off. And he's just a little kid. And he's just like totally nailing it. So this guy's got it. So here's a song um, called Traveling On. I'll play a, a few of these because, man, they just are a nice way to kickstart the day. Here we go.
Also, my mistake, the song, that song title is Traveling On. His album is called We Buy Guitars. Uh, let's, I'll play some more. Oh, God, he's so damn good. Like that, that, that's that kind of voice, man, that I dig. I mean, if I was like looking for a voice uh, to have as a singer, that would be really one of my go-to voices, I'll tell you. Uh, let, me, let me see what we got up here. Um, here we go. Man, man in my blues. dig it so much um <laughs> this is my kind of thing I, if i would love to just be in a band just playing that kind of stuff too all the time just you know hunker down in a you know really nice nice funky bar and just rock the house it's it's man it's it's that to me is heaven that's really the way to go um a couple more here I'm, i love this stuff um and that was called man in my blues here's one called the jealous kind Little slow blues. He 
these are all like first or second takes too. I mean, we really cut this live. just cannot remember who was playing keyboards and it's such great keyboard playing b3 on the stuff's just great i would love to be in a situation having tony and john butcher as two singers and it would be unbelievable two of my favorite guys two of my favorite singers oh getting, head's getting hot here 
just feel, felt needed to change, get down into more of a funky thing here. What do we got here? Um, um, let me check. I'll, I'll just do it real quickly. Oh, hold on. Let me, I'll do one more here. Um, Worried Mind Blues. Don't wanna worry no more. Yeah, I said I got a worried mind, baby. God, I love this cat. so good he's so good why this guy should have been just on I, but go back and look at number 285 and it starts off 
with a video of him fronting, you know, big band, you know, tux and just singing, you know, like Sinatra. And he does that so good. And uh, he's amazing, amazing cat. I haven't seen him in, in quite a while. Um, we did this quite some time back, but I, I walked away from this going, this is one of the more fun albums I ever worked on. The fact that we just nailed it all in a day. And there's a bunch more tracks that maybe I'll visit another day. I don't want to overload here because it's, uh, it's just good. Just, you know, this is really up my alley. I love it. Um, so I'm going to get running here. I got a few things to do and then head off to my session with John Gillitan and then come back and work on Lyle and work on Don Perry's um, piece of music that, that he's asked me to work on. Um, and, um, and that's it. That's about it. Um, that's the good part of the day. And then the bad part of the day is just looking at some of the world around me once again, getting up this morning and looking at this, um, the genocide that's taking place in, in Ukraine, the uh, determination of Putin and his minions to basically wipe this place off the face of the earth so they can start fresh. There's hard, so many cities where there's not a, a building to be found anymore that's habitable, and so many of them are still filled with bodies of, of women and children and civilians. Um, it's just beyond comprehension, the, the horrors that one human being can inflict on another. Uh, it's beyond, beyond comprehension. It just kills me. Um, that and, uh, and then seeing all this craziness with taking, you know, saying, no, they don't have to wear masks on domestic air flights anymore and all this. Yet the judge who made this call um, has never judged anything. She's a young woman that was put in place by the previous administration to do their bidding. And the CDC and everybody's like going, really, you know, this is not a good time to be dropping your guard as there are still a lot of people dying and a lot of people sick on this. I know, boy, for sure, when I get on a plane to go anywhere, I am going to be masked up and uh, taking care of business. If I hear about another boost, I will jump on that boost. I've had everything and I am grateful that it's available and not fighting it as though it's against my inalienable rights to be an, an idiot. Because um, everybody who's ignoring this stuff uh, is putting everybody around them in danger. And that's just not cool. We live in a world with other people. We're not all by ourselves in it. It's not like a... Okay. Uh, okay, that's that. Enjoy Tony. Uh, if you get a moment, go back and check number 285 and really see what I, you know, when, when I discovered what this, the other side of Tony Gala, I just went, holy crap, this guy's amazing. And enjoy this, man. Just go cruising. This, this is cruising music. And, um, and again, th thank everybody who, who participated yesterday, all the Clubhouse members. They're a, a fabulous group of people that just, um, uh, I, I, I'm so grateful that that's one of the, uh, real positives that came out of this past two year, two and a half years of, of negative things going on to have this clubhouse has been really just a wonderful experience. And it's not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. We're going to keep this up. So all my best and I will talk to you all later. Okay. Bye-bye.